Okay guys, this is the shrimp and grits, the Chesapeake shrimp and grits. And I'm just going to have me some this Minute Maid light pink lemonade, this Minute Maid lemonade. 15 calories and guys I'm going to taste this like I, I don't put cream cheese in my grits I, I don't maybe you guys do but that's what I'm curious about I'm good with everything else the corn the tomatoes the onions oh I forgot the green onions. Okay, I put the green onions on top. Can you see? And then I'm going to save half for tomorrow. But I'm curious about this cream cheese. I'm thinking. Let me try it again. Okay, guys. What I did is the grits was a little bit too soupy for me. So I had some quick grits in my cabinets that I mixed in and only had to cook it a, a minute more. And I don't know whether that additional grits kind of diluted that cream cheese, but I like it. You guys, if you don't think you like it, just um, take a little bit of grits and a little bit of cream cheese in a separate bowl and kind of test it because I didn't think I was going to like it. The shrimp. Are big enough the, the shrimp's big enough grits stay hot for a while that's L green <laughs> you younger folks won't get it but a lot of you you'll get what that means it tastes good with the green onions, the corn, tomatoes, garlic, and the seasoning, which it says Chesapeake, but there's some Creole seasoning in there if you want to, guys. You know, ain't trying to make it all difficult. So. I cut up everything beforehand so it didn't take a long time to prepare because I didn't want this video to be this long so what I'll do is I'll tell you when the eating part starts so you can determine if you want to watch it all which I hope you do whether you want to watch it all or you know start at a certain point 
but I'd appreciate if you watch it all. I mean, it's good, but it's something that I wouldn't have every week. Like sometimes you'll have chicken every week or spaghetti every week or every other week. Some dishes you can have every week. I'm good with this. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's good, but I'm good with this like once a month. And uh, since I made two servings, I'll be eating this tomorrow. But you know what? I'm going to eat it for breakfast. If you make your shrimp and grits a different way, if you don't mind, leave it in the comments very quickly. Maybe other people want to try it your way. I mean, I don't know. It's good, but I wouldn't have it but once a month, to be honest with you then I'd be ready for it again. You know, I fried me some chicken uh, today and about five days later I'm ready for some more chicken or, or, or whatever else. If I'm eating tacos, you know, I can eat it today and another five days, six days, I can eat me some more tacos every week. You understand what I'm saying. This is not an every week thing. And this is definitely for two people, what I made. I split it in half. I was going on some of you guys' channel. Some, you know, different channels and... Um, Gosh, what is the name of her channel? It's just this Chronicle something. Oh my gosh, I apologize. But she had a story about Tamar. And um, Vince. And that Tamar is free. I guess their divorce is final or finalizing. And people were saying, well, you know, now she's free, single and ready to mingle. And in the comments, some people were saying, like, she's been mingling, that, you know, like, what's the difference? I don't know. To each day on. But I'm just saying, a lot of times when you go through divorce, I don't want to see nobody right away. It might take a long, long, long time before I want to date. If, and, and, and I mentioned this plenty of times, you guys should know by now. But for the new people, I'm going to say it again. I have been single and I decided I like that better. There's nowhere written, there's no law you got to be married. Now if you want to get married, more power to you. I just don't. It took me to get to a certain point in my life that I'm good with it. In my younger years, you know, something that I wanted to do. I'm, oops, table's clean. I'm over it, y'all. I'm over it. So,
earlier this year. Took me a cruise. Just a little four day one, but I'm planning another one. Not sure where I want to go. I don't have to hear nobody's mouth. Um, baby, you know, we got to do this and we got to do that. So, I don't know if we can swing it this year. Shut up! I'm going. Bye. Bring your souvenir. And see, you can't do that when you're married. You cannot do that. I mean, I would do that, but you can't do that. If you want to be married, you have to compromise. Marriage is hard work. I've said it many times. It's hard work, and I'm not willing to work that hard anymore. You feel me? So, I know people that have beautiful marriages. I'm not saying it's perfect. Nothing's perfect. It won't be, not on this earth. But I know people personally, and I have a feeling with a lot of people on YouTube that have their marriages out there. Of course, you know, it's not perfect, and you're only going to see a little bit of what they go through. But it just appears like they have a, a good relationship. And if the appearances are accurate I love to see that I love to see on YouTube where the kids are jumping all over the dad and you know glad to see him and my mom is doing this that they're doing things together and going play I love to see that for your life for their life So there's no part of me that said, oh, I don't want to even look at, mm -mm, I enjoy seeing a family get along and do things and go places and play pranks on each other. And And another thing, guys, with this meal, you know how some meals you finish and you hate that you finished it? You almost want to lick the bowl. This is not one of them lick the bowls. Um, halfway through it, I'm about sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of these. I should have made the grits the way I wanted to make the grits and leave that cream cheese for a bagel. You know what I'm saying? But I don't waste food. If I got to put this in the refrigerator and eat a little bit throughout the day or take me a couple of days, this will be eaten, I guarantee you. And now the grits are so stiff. I shouldn't have put that those quick grits in there because maybe that was the idea. They were going to thicken up. Oops. As long as I get a shrimp and the tomato in each bite, I'm good. But if I had to eat these grits straight, 
This wouldn't be a mukbang, it would be a yuck bang. <laughs> I made a joke. <laughs> Guys, the shrimp is good. The tomatoes is good. The corn is good. I'm gonna have to doctor these grits up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna doctor them up. I hate it when you have to go on a shrimp search. Here's another one. Okay. Look like I'm out of shrimp. I'm done. Oh, here's a tomato. This is some stiff stuff. You guys, I'll probably go to the store and buy me some bigger shrimp. I'm done with this. I'm full. Not many times have I cooked and then made uh, and then recorded me eating it. So I look tired. I've been running around earlier today. Um, had to go to Walmart to pick up something and. Went to Chipotle to pick up something. Now have that another. Oh, I can't have it tomorrow. I'm having this. Well, I'll see how this lasts for tomorrow. Not giving them to my dogs because this will surely make them sick. And my dog just. 100%. I wouldn't get a little one this. He, he would eat it. And then he would moan all night long. Guys, thank you for joining me. If this looked too disgusting after I play it back and do some editing, I'll just show you the cooking part, but if you see this, I felt that it was okay. Sweating like a pig. It was dark, so I had to use my round light. <sighs> my, and so that makes it hotter. Got this little turban type thing on my head so that makes it hotter I'm just about done I'm cooked look how stick that is I'm sorry guys I did not make that look appetizing but while it wasn't hardening it up like concrete it was, it, it was good and then as time went on look at that look at that Oh, that is not appetizer. Guys, go by the directions. Don't try to be funny and, and add stuff in the recipe didn't say so. Just stick to the recipe. I'm done. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe if you dare. <laughs> if you're brave. No, I'm just kidding. Click that notification bell. Thank you for joining me. Thank you guys for being a part of the being Marilyn Gale family. I should have turned this into a comedy. This is funny. Anyway, I'm done. Have a good evening, guys. Good night.